What's up, Warriors? You got D Lynn here on another episode of Repeat Requester. Tonight's Repeat Requester is Donna McNutt, who had asked me so, so long ago if I would react to Peter Hollins featuring Tim Faust of Home Free in their cover of Bridge Over Troubled Water. This, of course, is not a problem for me. I love these two together. I go back in my mind a million times to Misty Mountains and I'm just like, ooh, I hope, I hope everything that they do is just as good or better than that. So I'm rather excited about this one. Of course, this acapella cover is of the 1970 song Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. This was the last song recorded for Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel's fifth and final album of the same name. Bridge Over Troubled Water became their biggest hit and is often considered their signature song. Now I saw that Peter released this cover in 2018, but I wasn't sure if it was part of a full album or if it was just a single. Apparently, Bridge Over Troubled Water is an acapella standard, as certain acapella groups, such as Voice Play and Scott Hoying of Pentatonix, have also covered it. To be honest, I'm just going to admit to you guys, I didn't like the original. When I heard it, I was pretty young and dumb, and I found the song kind of boring and slow, and it was never anything that I ever re-listened to on purpose as I got older. So maybe it will take Peter and Tim to change my mind on it. Anyways, I'm going to react to Peter Hollins featuring Tim Faust cover Bridge Over Troubled Water. When you're weary Hi Peter Feeling small when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough, and friends just can't.
Hey Holland's family. Why do you always start with the exact same thing? Every single video. Hey Holland's family. Okay. Don't you think they get tired of that? <laughs> hey. It's one thing to see Peter, you know, be multiple in, in his videos, you know, singing. But it's a totally other thing to see Peter talking to himself at the end of a video. I had to cut it. I did exclaim toward the end of the video about the transitions throughout. Who is it that that works on his videos? Fifth, Fifth Gen, is that the name of the company? That is amazing if that's who helped them out on this video, which it doesn't show me who worked on it uh, on YouTube. But yes, the video itself, the work on it was excellent. The location, wherever they were, I mean, we already know, Home Free, even Peter, even the Hound and the Fox, like, all of them, that whole crew, they always have great locations, they always have wonderful, like, cinematography, video editing, all of that stuff, like, it's amazing all the time, and this, this is no exception, so. Did they change my mind about this song in general? Hmm, no. It's, it's a lovely song. It's very beautiful. Even, I'm sure, back when, you know, Paul, Simon, and, and, and the thing about them two, I, I read that, and I'm not quite certain if that's how the recording is, but I had read that Paul Simon wanted Art Garfunkel to sing the song on his own, because I guess normally on their songs they were both singing or featured on them. I haven't listened to this song in years by them, so I'm not sure if that held true. Probably gonna have to go and listen to it just for kicks, but the lyrics are beautiful. It's, it's just a lovely thing for someone to say in a friendship, you know, that, you know, basically I'm going to be there for you no matter what. You know, when you're feeling troubled, I'm gonna be that calming force. I'm going to be that bridge that you can walk over. It's just not my jam. But these guys definitely did an amazing job with it. I feel like they made it more grand as opposed to what um, Simon and Garfunkel, I mean, again, I haven't heard their version in years. So please don't be mad if, you know, I'm saying things incorrectly. I'll have to investigate the song again, but they took it on a grander scale. Of course, it's a cappella, so they had to make all the instrumental sound with their voices, which is an amazing to me. Even every time I hear them or Home Free or any a cappella group, it just amazes me how they can do that and make everything sound so beautiful. I definitely like this version. I did. I love Tim's voice. I love the fact that he's able to go anywhere on the scale. Anywhere. And I think him and Peter complement each other so much. Their, their voices together. It's just perfect match. <laughs> Thank you Donna McNutt for having me revisit a song from my youth that was revamped and made a bit more bearable for me in my old age. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for my reaction and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel, I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe. That's gonna do it for tonight's repeat requester. I'm so happy that you joined me and I hope that I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!